No way, I'm on TV. Hey guys. Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be bringing you guys a classic Moz tutorial with some fun gameplay in the background and no face cam until later in the video. Um, for this video, I'll be telling you guys the best OBS recording settings in 2020. Every year I make an updated video covering any changes that OBS made in the last year, and I'm blessed to say that they're usually all very well received, and hopefully this one is too. In this video, I'll be using NVIDIA's guide for broadcasting and recording so you can trust that you're in the right place if you're looking for high quality recording settings. Keep in mind that these settings are the best OBS recording settings, so ideally you'll want to have a pretty solid build for your PC, but don't worry if you have a lower end machine because during the video I'll give some tips on getting better recordings for those as well. The only thing I ask is if these settings help you out, please do drop a like on the video. There's other people like you who are looking for the best recording settings, so getting good feedback on this video will definitely help it get seen by the right people. Anyways, let's just jump straight into OBS. Actually, one thing we want to quickly do before we go to OBS is go down here and type in game mode. And you'll see the game mode settings, just hit enter right there. And just make sure that game mode is on, and then from there you can close out of this. And then, now I'm going to open up OBS, but before I do that, I just want to say that if all the settings that I show you guys in the, like, in the next few minutes don't end up working out well for you, the one fix that you have to do for that is just right click OBS and then run it as an administrator. You don't have to always do this, and I'm not going to do this when I open up OBS right now, but on the chance that the settings that I show you guys in a second don't work well for you, running it as an administrator and then trying to record will work perfectly. So I'm just going to open it normally. No way, I'm on TV! Hey guys! Alright, I'm just messing around. Um, that was such a stupid joke. Anyways, um, when you open up OBS for the first time, or really just whenever, the first thing you're going to see is going to be your scenes right here and your sources right here. Since this is just like a recording settings video, I don't want to spend too much time covering what scenes and sources are, but just to summarize it, your scenes are like the different layouts that you can have for like your viewer to see. It's pretty straightforward. You can have one for like recording gameplay with the face cam, kind of like this scene right here, and then you can just have one with like your face cam completely. Um, obviously, it's totally personal preference for what you want in your recording. Uh, but anyways, moving on from that, like, your sources are just, like, the random sources that you'll have in your, like, um, recording or in your scene. So, like, right here I have my socials, this thing right here I have my face cam right here, and then I actually have, like, the monitor recording in the background. It's pretty straightforward, of course it's gonna be completely different for whatever you wanna do in your recording. So, of course, feel free to play around with your, like, scenes and sources until you have, like, a scene that you really like. But since this is a settings video for, like, OBS recording settings, uh, let's just jump straight into the settings. So, I'm gonna hit the settings button right here, and the first tab that we're gonna see is gonna be the general tab right here. Um, honestly, there's not really anything important here other than being able to change your theme from the system one right here, from system to dark, which honestly looks way cooler. Highly recommend you guys use it. It's honestly much easier on the eyes too, so you can hit apply here, and then everything else like here is just personal preference. It doesn't really affect the quality of your recordings, which is exactly what this video is about. So because of that, let's go ahead and head over to the video tab right here because it's very important and then after we're done here we'll do the recording settings. So the numbers here on my screen are probably going to be different from what you have on your screen but don't forcefully try to copy mine, it's more than okay if yours are different. So for your base canvas resolution, which is going to be the first one right here, this is what your monitor's resolution is. So because I have a 1440p monitor, my resolution has 1440p in it as you can see right here. Almost all of you will have a 1080p monitor, so it's probably going to be this one right here and that's most likely going to be your number like by default. Realistically speaking though, just pick the number that's at the highest of the drop down menu because that's more than likely going to be your de monitor's default resolution. So for me it's 1440p, but for most of you guys it will be 1920x1080. So the output scale resolution is the resolution that your final file will be saved as. So this right here is what your final file is going to be saved as. So let's say for example that you play your games in 1080p. So base canvas resolution is always what you play in or like what your monitor's resolution is. So let me just quickly change mine to match up with what most of you guys probably have. So there you go, mine is now 1920x1080. So let's say that I play my games in 1080p, but I want my final recording to be in 720p. All I have to do is change my output scale resolution from 1080 down to 720, and I can do that by just looking for the um, the value that has 720 as the last three digits of it. So this is going to be 1280x720. And sorry if I'm talking too fast, but let me quickly break down what I just did. So we'll be recording our files in 1080p, but the final recording will come out as 720p, if that makes sense. And honestly, if at any point you get confused during this tutorial, just drop a comment down in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to as many as I can. Or feel free to tweet me on Twitter, I'll have my Twitter on the screen right now, or you can DM me, and honestly I'll do my best to get back to you and try to help you out. I know that recording on OBS can be frustrating at times, so trust me, I'm here to help you guys out, so feel free to reach out if you have any questions at all. But anyways, like I said before, I personally play all of my games and do all my recordings in 1440p because that's like what my monitor resolution is, and then I downscale that to 1080p, so that's usually what I upload all my YouTube videos in. Even if you check the resolution on this YouTube video right now, it will be in 1080p. But honestly, almost all of you will be doing 1080p for both base canvas resolution and output output scale resolution. But if you do have a lower end PC then I definitely recommend keeping the second one which is the output scale resolution at 720p. 
Anyways, moving on from that, we have our downscale filter, and this basically makes your image sharper in your recordings, so I highly recommend keeping this at the max. But if you do have a lower-end PC, then lowering it one by one will definitely help you stabilize your quality. Just lower it once, try do a test recording and see how it works, and then just keep going from there until you find the sweet spot. So I'm going to keep this at Lanxos Sharpen Scaling. So I'm going to click that. And then next up we have our FPS values. So keep this at Common FPS Values and then make this 60 FPS. When you have it at 60 FPS, it will definitely result in a smooth quality recording. If you have a lower end machine, then I highly recommend lowering this from 60 down to 30. But since I don't, I'm just going to keep it at 60 and then we can hit apply and we should be good to go. Um, anyways, one thing I do want to mention though before we move on to the recording settings is please don't forcefully try to copy my base canvas resolution. Just because mine is 2560x1440 does not mean that you have to forcefully make yours that. Honestly, the chances are almost all of you will be doing 1920x1080 for literally both the base canvas resolution and the output scale resolution. So anyways, I'm going to change this back to 1440p, then I'm going to hit apply, and then from there we can move on to the output tab. Now this is where we're going to be able to adjust the settings to have the best OBS recording settings in 2020. Um, if you're very much a beginner to all of this and have no idea what's going on in the video, then you can actually have an easy configuration by changing your output mode from advanced to simple. And once you've done that, on the bottom you'll see your recording settings. For those of you who are looking for the like super advanced recording settings, just trust me that will come in just a couple of seconds. I just want to break this down for like the beginners and then we can move on to the more advanced tips. So first things first is your recording path, and this is actually going to be where your videos will be saved, so be sure to pick a hard drive that has enough space. I definitely recommend going onto like maybe your desktop or like wherever you want to save your videos, and just make a new folder called like OBS Recordings maybe, something like this. There you go. And then I can just double click that, hit select folder, and then every recording that I do on OBS will get saved onto my desktop in this folder right here. Now moving on from our recording path, we have our recording quality, and honestly changing this to high quality typically works very well for most users, but if you're certain that you have a very good PC, then feel free to change it to indistinguishable quality, but just know that the more you raise the quality, the larger file size your recording will be, and that will end up taking up more space on your hard drive faster. So I'm going to keep this at high quality because I think that works very well for honestly anyone who's watching the video. Now next up we have our recording format, and for this personally, I usually like to keep mine at MP4 because it works very well with basically any video editing software out there. Um, a lot of people though really like to use FLV because it's nice for being able to recover files in case um, like your PC crashes while you're recording and things like that. Um, but if you guys are wondering, I've always used MP4, so I'm just going to keep using that. But I just wanted to mention it really quick. Now, moving on from that, we have our encoder. And for your encoder, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, then pick the NVENC option. But if you have an AMD graphics card or no graphics card at all, and all you're using is your processor, then pick one of the X264 options. Also, guys, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, please do hit that like button. It will really help the channel grow. But more importantly, it will get this recording settings video in front of the right people who want to improve their recording quality as well. So if you're a beginner, those settings are all you need to change and you should be good to go. So you can hit apply and that's it. But since you're here, you're looking for the best OBS recording settings in 2020. So to get that, change your output mode from simple to advanced. And once you've done that, go to the recording tab right here. Now the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your type is set to standard, I believe that is the default. And then next up we have our recording path, and it's going to be the exact same thing that I said before. It's just where your videos will get saved when you're done recording. So make sure that the hard drive and folder that you select have enough space available. I'll just pick that folder that I just created on my desktop a couple of seconds ago and select that folder. So now all my recordings will get saved into that folder that's on my desktop right here. So now next for your recording format, like I said before, I like to keep mine on MP4 because it works very well with basically any video editing software. Um, a lot of people do like to use FLV though because it's nice for being able to recover files in case your PC crashes or like turns off or something when you're recording. Um, you can also use MKV if you're doing multiple audio tracks, but for this video, we're just going to keep the audio tracks at 1, so we can just leave it at that. Anyways, for your encoder, for those of you guys who don't know, OBS works amazingly with NVIDIA graphics card, so if you do have an NVIDIA graphics card, definitely select the NVENC new option right here. When they first introduced this encoder last year, it honestly blew my mind. I should have a graphic on this screen right now, but you can record with NVIDIA cards and not take major performance hits for FPS in games. Now, if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, you'll either have an AMD option or you'll have to use the X264 encoder. Now, the issue with that is that it will put a lot of pressure on your computer since you're using your processor to encode your recordings. This might cause a decrease in the performance of your PC while you're recording depending on how good of a processor you have and just the rest of the specs in your PC in general. Alright, awesome. So now that we set our encoder, we can actually move on to the rate control. And for rate control, there are two things that I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. You can either pick CQP out of this like drop down menu, and then once you've done that, set your CQ level at 15, which is a very solid middle point. You can make this number right here lower for higher quality recordings, or make the number higher, which will lower your quality, but it might work better for you if you have a lower end PC. So this is usually what I do personally, but another thing that you can do is change this from CQP to VBR. When you use VBR with high bit rates, it will produce a nice quality video as well, but it will have a larger file size with it too. So that's kind of like the trade-off that you have there. If you decide to do VBR, make your minimum bitrate 40,000 and then make your max bitrate or your maximum bitrate 
60,000. You can also increase these numbers to 100,000 right here for the minimum bitrate and then 200,000 for the max bitrate for a higher quality, but that's totally up to you and your PC specs. But like I said before, on the chance that you experience lag when you're trying to record or just like performance hits in general, just try lowering the numbers a bit until you find a sweet spot for your PC. But like I said before, I personally do prefer to use CQP for my recordings and then I always just keep this at 15, sometimes I'll make it 20 or something like that depending on uh, like what I'm trying to record in my video. But anyways, I really just wanted to show both forms of rate control just in case one works better for you. Moving on from that, we have our keyframe interval, and I like to keep this at 2. And then moving on from that, we have our preset. And the highest one possible is going to be max quality, which is what I recommend you guys start off with. Um, if you do this though and get like encoder overload issues in your recording, just stop your recording and lower it down to quality. And if you still get issues then, lower it down to performance and so on and so forth until you find the sweet spot for your PC. Um, but personally, I usually like to keep mine at max quality. But again, like I said before, just try testing it between these three and you're going to find a sweet spot with one of them. Anyways, moving on from the preset, we have our profile, which should always be on high. And then next up, we have look ahead and psycho visual tuning, which should both be checked on. Um, then after that, we have our GPU, and for this, I always just keep this at zero, but if you have two graphics cards in your PC, you can select which one is used for encoding in OBS right here. Um, lastly, we have max B frames, and we're going to go ahead and keep this at two. If you play low motion content like single player story mode games and things like that, you can go ahead and change that to four, and then from there you can hit apply, and you should be good to go. Um, moving on from that, we have our audio tab, and this is honestly pretty straightforward. Keep your sample rate and your channels at the same as whatever I have. Um, and then we have our desktop audio. Now this part right here, you want to select wherever you yourself hear the sound from in your PC. So for me, mine goes through like my headset mix amp, which is like this name right here. Um, sorry, it's like a random weird name, but for you it might be like, um, I don't know, like HyperX headset or like Astro A40 headset or um, computer speakers or whatever it is. Like whatever you hear your sound through, um, just select that right here. And if you're not sure what you hear it through, you can just click this right here and you'll probably see the name right here. From there, take that name, just select it from the drop-down menu right here, and you should be good to go. Um, desktop audio device 2, keep it disabled. Same thing with like um, these mic auxiliary devices right here, but for the first one, definitely select whatever your microphone is. So for me personally, I use a Blue Yeti microphone, so that's what we're keeping right here, and that's it. Like for the audio tab, you're good to go. You can hit apply, hit OK. Oh, why is my thing frozen? Hold on, let me fix that. Are we back? All right, cool, we're back. Um, so now that we have all our settings ready to go, let's just go ahead and do a test recording. So I can hit the start recording button right here. It will, you'll see a little pause button right here and you'll, the start recording button changes to a stop recording button. So when you want to stop your recording, all you have to do is just tap the button. So I don't really know what to do right here. I guess I'll just hold up this G Fuel tub, use code Moz, uh, 10% off, I think or maybe 30% off. Well, I don't know. It changes whenever you're watching this video. Um, but anyways, that's it for the recording. Uh, hit stop recording right here. And like I said before, all my recordings will get saved to this folder right here. So if I click it. As you can see, we now have a new file in here. So if I double click this, we should be able to see the video that we just recorded. Um, awesome. So yeah, like that was the test recording right there. And one thing I want to quickly show you guys right now is your desktop audio will be right here. So if you want to like increase the volume or decrease it, you can do that there. And same thing goes for your microphone right here. You can just increase and decrease it so that like the levels are like perfect for your final recording. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's really it for the video. Like these are the updated 2020 OBS recording settings. Um, these settings are great for games like Grand Theft Auto 5, Fortnite, Apex Legends, and even the best game of all time, Minecraft. Um, if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more videos like this, then please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I make tons of videos for like beginner YouTubers on how to like build your following on YouTube, get more subscribers, and also videos the same thing but for like Twitch as well. So I don't know if that interests you guys at all. Please hit that sub button. But I also make a lot of tech tutorials just like this one right here. So if you guys do want to see more of those, drop a sub. We're almost at 200k. Actually, I think I... Bro, I might hit 200k by the time I wake up and like this video is already live. That's... That's mind-blowing. Like... Yo, okay, I know this video is going to be seen by a lot of people who don't even know who I am, but, like, for my subs who are still watching, like, at this point right now, um, like, thank you guys, like, for real, from the bottom of my heart, you guys changed my life, and, yeah, like, it means a lot, thank you, um, what was I even saying? Alright, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video and you guys want to see more videos like it, drop a sub and all that good stuff, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, yo, wait, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to get back to you, but, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.